What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. So make sure that you subscribe if you're into that kind of stuff. But yeah, today we are here to talk about some news and some updates about the Netflix original series, 13 Reasons Why. So um, some of you have asked me like why I haven't done like a review of the series or anything. And to be completely honest, I took like a ton of notes on the show, but I kind of jumped onto the train like months and months and months after it was actually released. Um, you are gonna hear some of my thoughts in this video though, but this video is talking about the news and updates that we know so far. So it was just announced that they have finished wrapping up season two. And I'm kind of curious because I subscribe to Netflix on YouTube. I love watching the trailers and seeing what's coming out, like uh, the videos I've done on Take Your Pills. There's another really good movie coming out called Six Balloons starring Dave Franco. And it's about a heroin addict trying to get clean. So I will do a movie review on that, but that's why I subscribe to Netflix. And like, I've been really uh, kind of wondering what they're doing because lately Netflix has been and showing these like videos from 13 Reasons Why, I'm like, what's going on? And they're doing, they have two different types of videos up right now. So one of them is a series where the actors from the show are actually reading letters from fans, okay? So if you want to like go check them out, they're really powerful. But yeah, the actors are reading these letters from fans who are talking about how the show helped them, how the show helped them out a lot. You know, um, one of them is about, you know, someone who was sexually assaulted, um, they, they were suicidal, self-harm and things like that. And it's been eight months since self-harm and all sorts of like inspiring things that have come from it. And then Netflix, also released a couple other videos called 13 Reasons Why Tell Them, which has the story of two young women who talk about how they were suicidal or they were sexually assaulted. And they talk about how this show helped them realize that they needed to be more vocal about it and maybe that they could help other people. And they talk about how they're now able to inspire people with their stories. So like, yes, absolutely. As somebody who has a mental health channel, I'm a mental health advocate. Any of you who have been subscribed to me, you know that I talk freely about my childhood, I talk about my drug addiction, I talk about my past, I talk about all that stuff because the more we talk about it, the more people we can help. So it's really powerful, not only the letters that have been written to the cast, but also Netflix bringing on some people who are sharing their stories. Now, some of you watching this or some people who will never see this, like a lot of buzz has been about like, oh, Netflix is just doing this as some PR move, yes. Of course they are. When season one first came out, there was a lot of controversy about the series for obvious reason. A lot of people were saying that the show was glorifying suicide. Um, a lot of people were saying that, uh, you know, they didn't have the proper trigger warnings and all sorts of things. And like something I've realized in life, something that helps me out with my mental health is realizing that you are never ever going to please everybody. So yes, Netflix is doing it to kind of clear the air, clear their name and stuff like that and showing like, yes, we are here to help people, but there's always positives that come from this. Like I did a couple of the Logan Paul videos after his whole debacle in Japan, but like, there's good that comes from these terrible situations. Like after Logan Paul did that very, very stupid thing, it started a conversation, it started a much bigger conversation. So no matter what you thought about it, it had people talking about this very serious issue. And maybe that's my, my optimism or that glass is half full mentality that I've gotten thankfully because of I've been working on my mental health, but I can see the good that comes from it. And that's what I see from 13 Reasons Why. Whether they did it as a PR move or what, or they're legitimately trying to help people, doesn't matter. They're starting a conversation and there are plenty of people out there who watch the series and they know that now they, they can turn to help. So another piece of news about uh, 13 Reasons Why season two. So not only are they gonna have a new disclaimer that starts at the beginning of every episode, but Netflix is editing all of the episodes from season one, where instead of just having like this disclaimer and saying like trigger warning or whatever, um, the cast is actually going to talk about the seriousness of suicide, explain how this is a, you know, a fictional story, and if you need help, they're gonna provide you with information. And like, what I will say, as somebody you know who is trying to decrease the stigma, increase awareness about mental health and mental illness, like, I will say this, like, they are trying really, really hard. They are trying so hard 
to make this series that is going to help people, right? And yes, some people are gonna be triggered by it, some people are gonna see it in the wrong light, but regardless, they are helping people and they're trying really, really hard to help even more people. And like I said, they're never going to be able to please everybody. But like, if we look in the grand scheme of things, there are so many places and so many different um, things on social media or social media influencers or actors or companies where they do these terrible things and they're just really trying to sweep it under, rug, under the rug. Like Netflix is doing their due diligence to try to create some kind of narrative that can bring some good out of this terrible topic that we all hate talking about. So to that Netflix, I do commend you. But anyways, um, there is no trailer out for season two yet. There's some fake ones on YouTube. They're fake. Uh, but anyways, like I said, season two has just wrapped up. There is no official release date yet, but hopefully soon we'll get a trailer as well as a release date. So a few things. I would love for you to share comments down below. Do you want me to do a season one recap? Whether you do or don't, I probably do one before season two, but I would like to know. I wanna know what kind of content you guys like. But the other thing I want you to leave comments on down below is, what did you think about the series? If you watched 13 Reasons Why, did you think it was a good thing or a bad thing? Like, how did you feel about the season? Leave your comments down below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as I mentioned before, if you are new here, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. If you wanna see some other videos I've made on this channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.